what's up what's up what's up welcome back y'all to my kitchen keeping it real with Linda and I'm just cooking my dinner uh, some real simple I'm doing corn on sweet corn on the comb broccoli and fried pork chop abracadabra quick meal a bag of broccoli and all the season I put on my meat was the magic season and black pepper and salt and that's it and these are my pork chops center cut I already have my uh, corn already going and I'm gonna turn my fire on for my pork chops and I already have some butter and for my broccoli that they start melting and I already got my corn on cob rolling and you know they don't take long to cook oh and this is where I will be putting my pork chops in and put this in the paper towel and put that right there and then my grease getting hot I learned one thing about when I'm recording Sometimes I don't have the foods showing all the way. I'm correcting my wrongs. No. That's for my butter. For my broccoli. And I just put one big spoon of butter in there. And that's it. And I'm doing this whole bag. This is a 32 ounce. We do love broccoli. And I'm gonna pour them in my pan. Broccoli is a good meal. I love it. And I'm just gonna let it steam down. Put my top over, then I'll put some seasoning on it. Okay. I'm just steaming it down. And I'm gonna get my pork chunks ready to rumble. And I'm gonna get some ready. And um, these are the best pork chunks to me, the center cut. That's on why I like pork chunks. Don't get me wrong, I eat them long uh, pork chops too, but I like my center cut the best. And uh, one thing about pork chop, no a lot of season on my ass. On, on the car, they really done, so you just cook them for, I'm gonna cook them down for a good 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna turn them off, cause I don't want them too done. And then once my broccoli steam down, then I'm gonna add just salt and pepper on that. And that's that, that will be going on my broccoli. Remember I told y'all about this here? This will look um, thing I can record on too. And I found the box. This is the name of it. And that's how it operates. You put your phone on there, you charge it up, you put your phone on Bluetooth, and then once it scan your face, it follow you everywhere you go. So this is the name of it. Hey, I wanna get you one. And this is it. And this the back of the box. What's on the back? But this is it, y'all. That's what I got. That is, this is it. I just ain't uh, did a video with it yet, but I'm gonna try it. I might try it um, later on. And like I told y'all, I will be in the same clothes. Cause I already got another video that I made today. And I'm not changing the clothes. Let me taste my grease. See if it's ready. It's not ready, it's almost there. It's not ready yet. You see how the broccoli working. And only thing with the broccoli, you don't want to cook them too down. 
one that's steam on it. I'm gonna show you something else I do to my broccoli. Like putting cheese in our broccoli. Put that right there. And I add a little milk to my broccoli. Not much. Now I'm gonna sprinkle in some pepper on my broccoli. And a little salt. And that's it. Then when it cooks down, I will be putting the cheese in it. See, it's my grease getting hot. It ain't sizzling like I'm Trying to mix this so all of it gets seasoned real good. And one thing about season, if you don't have enough, you can always add some more. I try not to be too heavy with the season. So you can't you can't get it back once you mess it up. It's good and hot. And I'm also gonna be making me a lemon pound cake. The next video will be a lemon pound cake. But we're gonna eat dinner first and then I'll make the dessert. And it's all in one day. Three videos y'all see coming up. I did them in one day. Okay. Couldn't put my pork chop in. That's ready. I think I'll probably just do two at a time, y'all. So you put a lot of meat in grease, it'll cool, it'll cut the temperature down. And I want to go and cook. But we are hungry. You're gonna fry two at a time. Get the other two ready. For the next round. Be careful with this grease, you will get burnt. So I got that ready for the next round. Okay, my corn is ready. And in my corn, I put butter, um, salt, pepper, and Creole seasoning in my corn. I'm gonna add my cheese to my broccoli now. To my broccoli. And I just sprinkle my cheese on top. Okay. And I had a little bit of Vita cheese left, so I'm going to add that too. Now we're going to get rid of this. Before I go make parts of this one. I'm gonna cook for about five more minutes and then I'm gonna turn it on. Like I said, my corn is ready. It's my corn and corn. Mm -hmm. And when the pork chop get down, we are ready for dinner. You want a crunch, but you don't want the crunch too hard, don't want the crunch. Salt. And you do not have to cook your uh, broccoli like this. You just steam it, put what season you like on it, and let it be a done deal. So, different stroke for different folks, you know? Then I turn my pork chops over. I got this one ready. 
And see, it's good to work on the sheet pan too. That way your countertop won't get all messed up. Use the sheet pan. It makes it so much easier. Less you have to clean up. Come tell one flower get on your countertop. If you practically have to scrub it off. And I don't like all this. So. Them too ready. And put this on to protect me from the grease. All right, now I'm cutting my broccoli off. And the steam will do the rest. So I'm done with my broccoli. I'm done with my corn. And then nothing left but the pork chops. In. Now I'm gonna get the other two ready. And I'm gonna put y'all pretty. It's so pretty. Step back from that grease. Cause sometimes grease got his own mind. And I do not want to be welcome to the world. Let me see some other one. And I like turning mine once I first put them in. So, and just leave them alone for a minute and just let them fry. Ain't no more grandma cooking. People don't want that, but we still have to give y'all some old-fashioned recipes sometimes, too, because you're raising your kids and you got to teach them some things, too. I'm not just going to cut out cooking. I'm going to still do some cooking because it's recipe that y'all never tried. Also me, there's some I have never tried. That's where I'm gonna still be doing some cooking. I'm just ain't gonna make my channel be all about cooking. I know I told y'all that in many videos. And one thing about videos, when you talking and you trying to make videos, you might wind up saying the same stuff. Over and over you don't know because every video is different. But with me, um, my memory's that, that long, so forgive me. Like, oh, she already said that in that video. She said it. Oh, of course, it might happen like that with me, you know. And all the thing I'm doing now, I'm talking more about me so y'all can get to know me. This is what the girl's doing. And, um, one thing about cooking, everybody do needs to know how to cook. Don't let, don't depend on nobody, just always one person doing all the cooking and you not trying. Cause it's gonna come a time and maybe one day you gonna have to get in the kitchen feed yourself. And they got people can't boil water. They can't boil egg. I got a brother, he cooking now. He stay in Waco, Texas. He could not cook a white ball of air fryer. I ain't too to have in your home an air fryer. Wish, um, I gotta give me one. Wish I had one, but I gave it away for a gift. And um, I'm gonna give me another one, but I wanna get the one, uh, the kind of air fryer that I want. I want two separate um, handles, you know, where you cook the food in. And I want each of them to have their own um, set, you know, like the, the settings on this one and this one still and all that stuff combined you got to figure out what is what i don't want that i hope y'all know what i'm talking about but i am gonna get a deep uh air fryer 
Her people say it heats your food up even better, make your food more crispy. I don't know, because when I had mine, air frying it, I gave it away for a gift. I will be getting another air fryer for my house. And when one thing about cooking, try to get everything you possibly need in your kitchen. So when you start cooking, you know you got it. Get your measuring cups, uh, measuring spoons. Get you, um, you know, bowls and Tupperwares and stuff like that. So you can manage better in your kitchen than ripping and running, ripping and running. Oh man, I ain't got this. Oh um, man, I do stuff like that for your kitchen. Let's check on the pork chop, y'all. Cause these people in this house is hungry, including the girl. Get everything you possibly can for your kitchen. Which I don't have everything, but I got my joy. Or what I need. It make cooking so much easier when you practically got everything you, you need. I put a plug my light up. Now I gotta plug my little gadget. That's what's wrong. I forgot. And let me turn my light on. Now y'all do you see the difference when you got your ring light? See, now I got my ring light on. It makes a big difference with your video. Wish I forgot all about it. Uh, cutting your camera on and off, you have to edit this stuff. And you got to put this video together. You got to put it in order. And that's why it takes some people some days maybe a week to edit a video because you gotta know what to cut out and what to keep in. And then you also have to know if you accidentally take something out, you gotta put it back in. It's a lot of work in editing. Yes, ma'am. Oh my, no more problem. So I always keep this pointed down. that pointed out. Now I'm finna put the other piece to it in. And y'all, we finna be a wrap. Yeah. Frying food, you got kids. Do not allow them in your kitchen, period. They come in their kitchen, you break them. Pop their butt, pop their hand. That's a no-no. You're not allowed in the kitchen when I'm cooking. Actually, Nobody should be in the kitchen while you cook it. You really shouldn't. Put my mitten on. <laughs> Never know. Might have to, you might have to, the pot might be sliding. See, the pot might slide. You got something to, at least try to keep that, push that pot back on the stove. Or you can grab a handle. But if you don't have anything in your hand, well, how can you protect you from getting stalled? Or you have a chance to run, you can push it and run. That's the reason why it's very important to have mittens, hand mittens, pot mittens in your kitchen drawer. And that is that. One thing I do, and I don't recommend y'all to do it, but this is what I do. I do not let hot grease stay on my stove. To me, you can walk, cut my kitchen kind of small, and we can accidentally walk back by here and bump into it. Uh, so what I do, I sit my, I put two minutes on. This one regular, don't y'all talk about it. My little barbecue, <laughs> so. And I put it down in the oven. And now, I have eliminate the danger. I really hope y'all enjoy my channel. Thumbnail. Okay, y'all. Now it's time for us to eat dinner. And I might come back and talk and eat with y'all. But y'all, stay blessed, stay safe, stay out of trouble. Until my next video. 
and it's gonna be another video with this same dress on. This is one day, y'all, I'm working one day. Okay, so don't say, she got the same thing on. And yes, I do. And I'm gonna have another video with this song. Okay, y'all, love y'all. Bye. Oh, stay blessed, stay safe, stay out of trouble, and like, share, and subscribe. Hit that red button, subscribe. All you viewers that pass me by, come back and holler at me. And you gotta even say a moment of word, just hit the button, hit the button. Okay, y'all, to my next video, bye-bye.